What is cranking leaders? Welcome back. We're starting a new day. Uh, the last fishing video you guys saw was sorry to say the least. Um, if you guys have not seen the 250 boat, $1 million derby video, you should check it out. Today's video is actually taking place on one of my favorite lakes ever, that being Possum Kingdom. It is such a fun lake. You know, you may not come here and catch a ton of fish, you may not come here and catch a lot of big fish, but it is just a beautiful place to just come and just wet a line, not to sound too sentimental. But uh, I'm out here with Jerry, who's looking like a character that you have not unlocked yet because it's so dark. Jerry actually sent me a link to a website where um, there was a tournament out here, and I was like, dude, let's fish it. You know, I'm, I'm pretty sour about the last outcome. We placed 88th place out of 250 boats, which is nothing to cry about but we only caught one fish. I'd at least like to catch a limit. I think there's like probably 40, 50 something boats in this derby, a lot smaller fleet than the last one. And the payout of course is not $1 million, it's a few grand, which is still awesome. I'm, I'm pumped, I'm stoked. I just wanna set the scene for you guys, let you know what's happening. I think this is probably where I should have started tournament fishing, stuff like this, instead of jumping right into a big event like the one on Ray Roberts, but we are gonna fish our nuts off. Absolutely fish our nuts off. And I'm stoked to bring you guys along with today and show you guys what a, a derby is all about. We'll just go crank them. So stick with it, stay tuned, and let's have a day. Let's go. Get it. So many fish up on that bank too. Ooh, tons of bait off to our left. There's one. Hey! Yeah. That was a good one. Was it? Yeah, it was a nice fish. It's a good sign though. You said you saw a big fish here in this cut, right? There was some very scary big fish in this spot right there. Yeah. One I saw must have been five. Yeah. I saw a couple that were between like seven, seven to ten. There's one. Eat it, eat it. Good fish, get the nut. I'll take that. It's a good one. Hell yeah, dude. First one. Let's go. Let's go, baby. <laughs> That'll go 14. Let him eat it and he still has it right over his mouth. First fish of the day, we will take that. If we get to miss a few and catch them like this, that's okay. Fresh in the box. Take that. So clean. Another one. Good one. Oh, nice fish. Number two. I don't know if that one will do 14, honestly. Thanks. We'll see. Oh yeah, dude, we're doing good. So in this tournament we're fishing right now, the minimum length is 14 inches. So if it's under 14, we can't keep it. This guy's 15. So we're gonna keep him. That's two fish, three more, and we got a limit. That thing felt way bigger than it actually was. Oh, yeah. I need to call those for sure. But yeah. first things first, let's just get some meat in the box. Hopefully people will just go look around today because it's gonna be windy and I think uh, looking for bads on a day like today is definitely gonna be a challenge, but I suppose if you do find a big it's gonna be good. Oh, I'll see you later then. Take care. He said I I'ma head out. I'ma see y'all later. Oh, okay, we're like really snagged, aren't we? Next. There's one. Oh, sh he's dropped it. Good bite. 
good bite. That felt pretty nice. How do you nibble a stick bait? Aren't you supposed to just suck that down? If you're like a giant bass, you just go. All right, we're gonna yonk one on this little bank here. There always is a couple on this little, little spot. Oink. There's one. No! That felt big. Come back, come back for it. Come back for it. That felt big. One of those big boom bites and just runs off on it. Oh my God. <laughs> we are struggling today. Absolutely struggling. If we didn't have two fish in this box, it'd be like a Ray Roberts deal all over again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, good one. Good one, nice one. We'll take it. We will take it. Uh, that one might not, that's not gonna go for it. <gasps> Try it. <laughs> it might go for it, please. There we go. The bump is in the, uh, near where those tools are at. Uh, I would say let's not risk it. Let's just throw her back. You think? Look. No, that's short. Need yeah, I need that fish. God, dude, don't say that. <laughs> How was it eat? Was it just like a pop or was it just a bunch of little taps or what? I just saw a line move. moving. Yeah. I didn't even feel the bite. Last cast. Oh, that is a last cast. All right. We got two. We're already doing better than the last derby. Two in the box, caught one that was short. It's a 14 minimum too, so. I mean, it's gonna take a bunch of 20 inches to actually win this derby. The pattern that I'm wanting to focus on all day is fish slow, fish finesse. A lot of these big fish have seen lures the past few weeks, past month. So I'm thinking if we slow things down, throw like a, a little stick bait, a little lunker log, five inch, change up colors. I'm throwing a black neon, Jerry's throwing something a little more natural. I think if we stick to that, we'll come across some fish. We're gonna to have to weave through the tinies and the, and, the, and the squeakers, but at least we can get an opportunity to catch something big because those fish are lazy. They don't wanna work for, you know, uh, something on the bottom. They wanna work for something fast. Although we may honestly switch to throwing the scout here later in the day, but this is what I wanna start off with. While we have low winds, I wanna fish low. But so far, so good. Just need to follow that limit. Got an infinity pool. Like, what more can he ask for? Weird. I need a bite. I need a fish. Thank you. Answer my prayers. Ain't gonna make it. Ain't gonna make it, but it's a good sign. Holy f no. Didn't set the hook, really. Probably good to cover water. It sucks about the stick base, you just really can't effectively cover water. Like you're limited to where you're where you're fishing. Strange. There's one. Good one. We'll take that. We'll take that. Absolutely clobbered it. Hang on. In the net she goes. That'll go 15. There is our third fish. It has not been easy on here. This is not fishing like typical possum kingdom, but we gotta grind for bites. We gotta grind for bites. Fish number three going in the box. Absolutely annihilated. Absolutely not. There's one. Oh, that was a nice bite. Throw up there. That was a good bite. I don't know why it's supposed to look like an absolute dork. There he again. Good fish. Nice one. Yep, 100%. That'll keep. Oh. And he came back for it. That will keep, that's number four. 
Looks like it. I'm just fucking. <laughs> Look like dorks trying to nut like a one incher. Nice. That's number four. Four? Number four? Yeah. Swallowed it. These are not going to win the derby, but man, we'll take it. It's been such a tough day. We need to call all of these fish. And she goes. What's that? First one. Yeah, it might be the first one we call. He was just over 14. Quick time check, quick update for you. 11.56, we don't have a limit. And the, the, the four fish that we do have are tiny, like littles. Yep, it's a couple of squeakies. We A, need to get a, a fifth fish, and then B, need to call literally everything that's out of that box. Otherwise, I don't think we're even gonna have a, a shot at placing today. Also, my zipper's done. We've ran back up to like, we caught that first one. I just have so much confidence here. Water's dirtier than I'd like it to be, but I do have uh, I do have a good feeling about this. We literally have probably, two, what, like two and a half hours to make it happen? Yeah. Yeah, so I should probably stop talking. Let's get after it. There's one. We're on, buddy. Oh, good one. Met me. Is that number five? Maybe. If I don't jinx it. Number five. Okay. That's our limit. There we go. And just like that, we have a limit. All thanks to the Lunker Log and Trench Hog. Random main lake. Like, there's nothing here. Doesn't make any sense. Wow, we need to call these fish so bad, dude. This is pathetic. All right, number five. We'll take it. Give you guys a little look at what we're using today. This has kind of been my staple, staple bait for whenever I come and fish here. I'm using just a small little wacky finesse hook that's kind of got some weed guards on it. I don't think the weed guards make a huge difference, but there is some rock and some brush down there. So anything to keep that bait out of the snags and in the fish's mouth is always ideal. As we're taking these black and red flake lunker lugs. Normally when you're fishing clean water, you want to throw natural stuff, but the black really just stands out. And we are going in between dirty and clean water, so I just rather throw a darker color than something that's natural and it's gonna get lost in the clarity. Seven foot Guggen Gold finesse rod. And just a 2,500 size reel. Very, very simple stuff. And we're just fishing these, like, I don't know what you'd call them, but they're sort of like main lake flats. So these fish are probably coming up to spawn and then dip back into the deeper water. Fishing around the docks, um, Anywhere where there's gonna be a decent little spot for these fish to post up and make their babies. So we've got five, we need to call now. We need some bigs, we need like some fours and some fives and maybe a couple eights, that'd be nice. Can you think, can you think, can you speak? Another one. Another one. I don't know if this is gonna help us. Number six, but I think he's uh, just about the same size as our smallest ones. I'm just gonna throw him back. I don't even know if he's 14, honestly. But that's a good sign. We've really kind of been biteless for a long, a, a while. And we finally are getting some action here. It's kind of a long run to get here, but thus far it's paying off. We just need to weed through these little guys and get some big ones. There's one. Oh, this one's better. You need that? Nope, I'll just flip them. Uh, help us? No, I'm not. They're so skinny. <laughs> I can't tell, dude. Let's see. Right now we're trying to call. This is not a really insane call. Which one did you just catch? We need a beam. Let me uh, show them their bellies. I caught this one. Let me see that one's belly. That one looks a little fatter. They're all the same. Just chuck one back. <laughs> if we lose by an ounce, we lose by an ounce. I don't think we're I don't think we're in the running with those fish though. Let's show. This fight is so inconsistent. Good one. Giant. Get the net. Good fish. Good. <laughs> Not a giant by any means. <laughs> Not even close to a giant, honestly. Wow, did he hammer it though? We'll take that. It'll work. Fish and there's probably more up there. All right, there we go. It's probably our freaking kicker. Honestly, one of our big ones. Thing hammered it. I was certain it was big, big, but it is not big, big. It is medium size. There we go. Nice little call there. Not much, but a little bit. Pretty sure I just threw back a bigger one, but whatever. Damn, I was certain that was a big one. 
He pulled drag too. Yeah. My line cinched from it. It's a micro upgrade. Oh yeah, they're everywhere. Tens all over the place. I'm gonna bite in like an hour. Christ. I love how like come here and consistently stroke like above 20 pounds of fish and then tournament day, prime conditions. This fish probably spawned, did their thing, and then pushed off deep until the next wave of fish. That's just cool. I mean, there's probably a lot on beds right now, but we're just not in those areas. On? Nice one. Really nice one. That'll do. That'll help us. Oh, he's got a follow. That must have been the female that you hooked. That might be our, one of our biggest ones of the day. Oh, that was dusty. Nice one, man. Go there. Damn. That will call. That will definitely call. We ran over that spot. It's so weird. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got hit. We're on. Feels pretty good, too. Yeah, that'll help us. That'll definitely help us. I got it. Is he gonna help? Mine. I won't. I couldn't decide which ones to take out. Okay. That one's called, and then we could probably take that. Yep. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yes. He's fatter. Nice call. All right. Okay. Nice job, man. Oh, what? Did you jump out? Yeah. Asshole. Sorry, literally last cast. Last cast, last cast. On. Last cast of the day. I'm on. Good one, too, man. I'll get that net. I think he's going to help us, honestly. He's going out the deep water like a nice one. Oh my god, yeah, that might help us, honestly. Yeah, that's gonna help us, don't you think? Yeah. Unreal. <laughs> Literally last cast. Alright, we gotta go pull that motor up. I'll just call this guy out. He might help us. We're probably gonna place dead last with this bag, but whatever. At least we've got this guy in the wall. What do you think? It's about the same size, honestly. Was that the... That's the one I just caught. I think that one looks like a little fatter. I think this one's fatter. Yeah. Might have just released heavier fish, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. All right. Let's go. Way in time. Nice job, man. Good performance there at the end. Really pulled through. <sighs> Literally last cast, and we made a call. Three calls in, what, 10 minutes? Yeah. Why couldn't we have done that all day? Anyway, that's good. Hey, put it there. Jerry contributed. Put a nice one in the box. Probably our second biggest one. We gotta check in in five minutes, so uh, I'll meet you guys at the weigh-in. We should have called all of these today. Is that the first one? I think so. We only got one more. That's five, let's go in. Cut number? 36. 36, Good to be back. 
I'm closing today's video a little bit late. We just uh, just got back from Derby number two of the season. It went a lot better than the Ray Roberts million dollar uh, tournament. We, I don't even know what we placed. It's kind of a weird layout. It's very nonchalant laid back, but we ended up having 11 pounds, 16.16. It was fun fishing with Jerry, fishing with a guy that actually films uh, with Guggen and a dude that loves to bass fish. So that was enjoyable. And to do it on one of my favorite lakes, that being Possum Kingdom, was was definitely a treat. Let me bump that. Also, the crickets are going wild. But before we close out today's video, I just want to show you guys the MVP for uh, today's little derby. We may not have caught 25 pounds of largemouth bass, but we did get bit mostly on darker colored five inch lunker logs. Today we were throwing wacky. It's got a little bit faster rate of fall and it seemed to catch him. I think we did have some big bites, could have lost some big fish, but I do feel like that some of the bigger fish weren't really in the areas that we were mostly focusing on. For all of you that are curious, this is the setup that I strictly threw for the most part all day. Uh, I think I caught one keeper on the casting, but for the most part, we got the majority of our bites on this right here. This is a gold series Guggenrod. It's a seven foot medium action. It's our finesse tear stick. And all I was doing was just using that, that wacky lunker log, just throwing it around docks, throwing it around anywhere from like a foot to like 10 feet of water. I feel like a lot of my bigger bites are coming in that deeper stuff. If you guys are still enjoying the tournament, the derby videos, let me know in the comments, uh, whether they be big or small, I might sign up for some bigger ones, but this was a nice little like refresher from fishing that, uh, that Ray Roberts one. I needed to catch some fish. And like I said, we didn't get a mega bag, but we got a respectable five fish limit for 11 pounds. So anyway, I'm peace and out signing. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And as always folks, keep fishing, never stop. Oh, 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 oh,